sorry about the abrupt end there in the last video. I had to uh, answer my phone. But, alright, let's do this again. Oh, that was great. <laughs> So, especially when you spawn with these corner snakes or these surround snakes, immediately try and find yourself a way out. Remember, you have to shoot them in the head, see? Or the, otherwise they absorb all your bullets. Oh, my bad. Um, this is a corner snake. And if you get those when you're spawning, you can use your shield that you get to kill off a bunch of them, since they're really not worth the risk for the points. alive as long as you can, you know, without risking too much, and then just farm the rest of them. See, a lot of times I'll use black holes to draw the uh, red clone ships that are chasing me, you know, away from me. And I'll also shoot backwards, you probably noticed by now, which a lot of people find is a bad thing, as, as are black holes during these jack spawns. But, um, with the right amount of practice and the right timing, shooting backwards is not that bad. Thing. All right, now jack spawns, as well as those uh, uh, pink spawns that we, we I've been showing you, uh, are the only two four corner spawns that you're not guaranteed to have some way of surviving without a bomb. Okay, so if you are completely overwhelmed or there's just nowhere for you to go on a jack spawn. Then use a bomb. Do not be afraid. Because, yeah, see there, the red guys will block my bullets and there was no way I was going to be able to get through. Uh, the multiplier gain from just one jack spawn is huge. But if you can get through any part of it without using a bomb, do so. Because in this point of the game, they last so long that if you're using a bomb every time you think you're in the slightest bit of trouble, you're just going to use up a bunch of bombs on every single one, and you're not going to have anything for later. And it's going to take away that small bit of good that killing some of the enemies had, did, had done. Excuse me. Had did. Anyways, right, so I'm going to go through again. Um, if I think of anything else while I'm playing, I'll let you know. Uh, basically, this is uh, what my longer games consist almost entirely of past, you know, like the 3 million point. So from, you know, 3 to 5 million, from there on to about, I don't know, 356 million when I, uh, when my game ended, my last high score. This is pretty much what you're doing. You try and keep a good balance, earn more lives than you lose. And that's a basically the point. So, let's keep going here. Notice there's a big wad of snakes. I kind of ignore them. The wider you go when snakes are around, the better because they'll start to bunch up in the center and they won't be as big of a threat. Um, other enemies, you want to go tighter. Or in the four corner snakes like that, you just want to bomb them. You can survive those, but you have to be able to go essentially from the top to the bottom of the, the screen during the spawn safely. Uh, I'll see if I can get one in here on this video. And and if I can't, uh, I might try it on a future video. Hmm. What, when you get a four corner snake spawn like that, uh, they don't take too long to get all the snakes spawned, but what you can do is, as soon as you see that it's spawning one of those types, you run to one, either the bottom or the top of the screen, and that'll draw whatever snakes are spawning at that point towards that side. And then after that, you want to um, go straight to the opposite side. By then, the other snakes should be done spawning, and you should be able to escape through one of the corners, depending on which one is safer uh, at that time, which corner appears safer for you to <coughs> for you to take advantage of. Let's go around here. Oh, we're going to have a jack spawn, so we can survive this as long as we can without bombing. All right. What you want to do on the jacks is, especially if you're using the shotgun gun, like I had there for a second, you want to get a hole open. See, I got through the whole thing. All right, you want to get a hole open in them that you can use before having to bomb. So that's how you get through these waves without 
having that any issues. So like the one before this, I got through without bombing until the end, in which case there were so many red ships, they actually distort my uh, bullets too much for me to reliably aim. Which can become a problem later on. And that's, if you're going for score, that's going to be when you want to bomb as a caution. Now, I mean, most of the time you're going to want to bomb just because there's obvious need for it. You know, you don't want to die. Let's see if I can survive this for you guys here. Alright, see I went out the corner. Oh, and then I killed myself. But you would go around the corner and with luck, you'll get a, a simple spawn like a uh, four-corner green like that. Or um, one of the other four-corner spawns or surround spawns that are easy to get out of. And that would allow you time to uh, kill off some of the snakes and escape without using the bomb. Otherwise, you can still get through it and you, you'll basically be able to go longer without using that bomb, which, as we I had mentioned before, are a precious resource, essentially. See, these blue guys, they're not all bad. So I'm going to start circling smaller and shooting back, especially now, when I get the occasion. Alright, so I got rid of all the red guys. Uh, easy strategy for killing the red clone ships, for those that don't know, because they're a pretty... Uh, predominant enemy here. Not predominant, uh, yeah, predominant enemy at this point in the game. You can take them essentially head-on, but don't fire head-on. You want to fire at an angle to the side, and that'll hit uh, them where their shield isn't present. Uh, another thing you can do, like I was doing earlier, is overwhelm them. Their shields can only deflect so much. So if you have like this huge swath of shotgun bullets coming for them, you know, they're not going to they're not going to have a chance. Um, another thing you can do is like that, when they're when they're cornering, you can easily kill them by going essentially straight. So when they're cornering, they're exposing themselves. Another, and they're actually really easy to get rid of on these type of spawns, especially when you don't have anything else trailing you at the moment. But uh, <laughs> when you're taking them out otherwise, you can also get them really easily from the back. If you have the chance to take them out from the back and not, you know, risk endangering yourself, take it. Because, you know, as they pile up, they just become annoying. There's nobody else getting out, <coughs> so I had to bomb there. Alright, that was a simple spawn to get out of, so I wasn't going to risk, or waste using bomb. Especially since now I can spend some time piling up some easy points. Sometimes that happens when the red guys get close, even if they're behind you, they'll sort your bullets and you have no chance of uh, recovering and you can't predict it, so that's just a bad occasion there. Otherwise that black hole was going to blow up and repel him and I would have been able to continue fairly easily. Notice how I'm going at somewhat of an angle through these jack spawns. That allows you to take out as many of the red guys as you can and also allows you to get some points and get them safely. Again, this is a standard spawn. It's nice to get at this point so you can get some points and build up your multiplier. Again, another thing for those that don't know, uh, your multiplier is not based on your score or points in any way. It's based on number of enemies. So even if they're a low low point value, like jacks, enemies are always good to kill, especially when they're easy to kill, like during those surround spawns that we keep getting uh, at the beginning. So that'll help build up your multiplier and make it less detrimental for you uh, when you get these harder spawns later because you have built up some points and multiplier already, so you don't necessarily uh, have to waste a bomb or waste life, whichever the case may be. I didn't see him. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going uh, as long as I can here, uh, and my camera will let me go. The battery, battery's pretty good, so actually we got like five more seconds, otherwise YouTube won't take it, so I'm gonna pause.